Hi, I'm Choma Njoku from the Maryland Track and Field Team, and today we're going to learn the physics behind the hammer throw. My name is Peter Sean. I'm a professor of physics here at the University of Maryland. Today, I want to talk about the fabulous physics involved in the hammer throw. I'd say the hardest thing about the hammer throw is that you're constantly evolving. Once you reach the ceiling, it can be difficult to figure out what it is that you need to tweak in order to progress and move forward. Hammer is probably the most intensive when it comes to physics of the throw. They're usually pushing the hammer in front of them and letting it come around, creating a large orbit. As she gets it going faster and faster, she's going to get it up to about 56 miles an hour before releasing it. And the force that it takes to keep it going in a circle while she's doing that rises to up to over 300 pounds. So at that moment, just before she releases it, she has to be pulling on that cord with over 300 pounds of force. You can see how while she's pulling it inward to keep it going in a circle, that's the centripetal force, she's also getting the hammer faster and faster. Later in her throw, she's tilting the circle so that it, when she releases it, it flies up at an angle. And that's what's going to give her the distance. You can really see how the hammer is pulling on her with that same 300 pounds of force. And so her footwork, her leg strength is what's keeping her balanced and what's giving her the power to counteract that and to stay upright until she releases the hammer. Joma's biggest strengths is her size. I think she's got long arms, long levers. Her arms and her height being a little bit longer than some of her competitors uh, allows her to put more energy into that ball. When she releases it at that top speed, 56 miles an hour or so, she's also got to be hitting that optimal angle, which is about 45 degrees. You can also see that when she releases it, it's when the hammer head is beside her. And that's because that's the moment when it's traveling forward and up at an angle. Because once she lets go of it, it gets simpler in that Newton's laws with gravity determine its trajectory after that. It's going to be pulled down by gravity. That's going to give it its arc. It's going to be slowed down a little bit by air drag, but not a whole lot. So that's what's going to give it its range and the ultimate distance measurement. Thanks for joining us today to learn more about the hammer throw. And good luck to Chioma at the NCAA Championships.